Yeah, so round one of Tri Series, so great opportunity to get the whole state together in the one venue. We have games getting played between the south, north, and northwest. First real opportunity for us to see the kids in action in, in uh, real game situations, trying to apply and work on the stuff we've been practicing each week at our programs. Is this something that all players and coaches look forward to at this time of year after all those months of being on the training court? Yeah, definitely. Uh, for most, pretty much all of our athletes and coaches, this is their first real hit out for the year before all of your rep and, and club season starts up. So it's definitely uh, been marked on the calendar for, for our South athletes in particular. Everyone's been uh, itching to get on the court and uh, get a really good hit out uh, in, like I said, live game situations. Obviously the Tri-Series creates opportunities and provides opportunities for players to get to the next levels. Is this something that you, Mark and Darren, look at to see who might be the next best thing coming out? Yeah, definitely. It's a great uh, tournament for us as BDOs to be able to sit back and evaluate the athletes. Uh, obviously with our under-14As, the teams are vying for positions at the uh, under-14 club nationals. With our under-16s, this tournament will be the last part of our selection process to pick the 20-man or 20-woman squad. So it, it's definitely a great opportunity for us to yeah, see who stands out and, and who performs well under pressure situations. Uh, for you, coming from Queensland, obviously a different qualifying event in Queensland for the 14s and other age groups. What, what do you compare to that from here to there? For me, I, I feel like this competition does a really good job of bridging the gap between our state program and our, our club and, and, and rep competitions. Uh, I think from what I've seen so far, the standard's been at a really good level and uh, I can guarantee that the, the quality will only improve come Tri-Series 2 and, and, and the third one, of course. Let's, let's be a little bit biased here. You and me are both, both Southern people. What are, we, what are we expecting with the South guys? Really good improvement and just try to really improve on the overall game? For me, it's definitely Tri-Series 1 with the South. It's, I'm not fussed at all about results and individual performances. For me, this is a great opportunity to evaluate the kids. And for us as a, as a region in the South, it's just about getting a little bit better every single game. And come the third Tri-Series, have we gotten better? Have we improved as individuals and as a team? That's, that's what I'll be evaluating the athletes and the coaches on. Obviously, yeah, you just uh, briefly touched on coaches. Obviously, this is a good chance for coach development. So what are you looking at for, for coaches to improve on? Now, yeah, for the, from a coaching point of view, it's a great opportunity for us to sit back and evaluate the coaches in games and see who is implementing all the stuff we've been working on in our program sessions. It's a great opportunity for the coaches to get a little bit more hands-on and, and get involved. And he's definitely, you know, at our program sessions, it's it's myself, Mark, and Darren really running those sessions, whereas here they get the opportunity to, you know, have some pride in, in what that team's getting done and, and really take control of that themselves. And last one for me, this event is obviously, you can't, it's run by a lot of people behind the scenes. Obviously, we want to thank those volunteers and people at BTAS for helping us out this weekend. Big weekend of basketball. Yeah, it's a massive weekend and there's a lot, there's a lot that goes on uh, behind the scenes to make this work. Without our volunteers and you know, parents putting their hand up to help out as coaches and managers and doing the score bench. And obviously without our officials, these games wouldn't go ahead. So it, there's a lot that goes into making this happen. And for myself and the rest of us in Tasmania, we really thank all those people for their contributions.